So with the release of the new Star Citizen 3.0 update, I figured a lot of new players would be jumping into the game, and since the controls can be quite daunting at first, I wanted to make this updated control guide that should hopefully help point you in the right direction. And you know, even if you are a more experienced player, they do tend to change the controls up quite a bit in these updates, so either way, maybe there's a chance you'll learn something new. With that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. And first things first, what you'll want to do is head over to the options and switch over your controls to the advanced settings. And to do that, you just head over to the key bindings, go down to advanced control customization, and finally scroll all the way down until you see keyboard advanced. From here, you simply select the two devices you'd like the new controls to work on and then hit load. And there you go, now you should have all of the advanced controls at your disposal, and it should also make following this video quite a bit easier. From here, let's start with the on foot stuff, and like most games, you'll use W, A, S, and D to move around, and if you want to increase your speed or decrease it in some scenarios, all you have to do is spin the mouse wheel. To jump, you'll press the space bar, to crouch, all you need to do is press control, and then to go prone, that's going to be done by pressing C. With that out of the way, let's move on to the Moby Glass. To bring that up, you hit F1, and from here you'll be able to see a variety of different information such as your current balance, your crime stat, and also your vital signs. And then below all of that, there's even more you can check out such as the mission scheduler, the Cryastro service page, which I wouldn't worry too much about right now, just because you can't actually use it until you're at one of the stations, but basically it allows you to do things such as repairing, restocking, or refueling your ships. And then the next important one is the journal. So any word-based documents you find throughout the universe, they'll most likely appear here. And then moving on, the one right here in the middle is the star map, which we'll get into a bit more later on. But from here, if you want to get back, you just hit this middle button or press backspace. And the same applies for all the others as well. So next up is your equipment manager. So this is where you change your loadout in things such as your armor or weapons and following that is the vehicle loadout manager so this is where you change your ship's weapons and then last but certainly not least you have your contacts and once again we'll have to get into this one a bit more later on but this is primarily used for when you need to land and then to close down the Moby Glass altogether, you either come up here and hit the X, or you just hit F1. Additionally, there's also a couple more tabs you can bring up, such as the chat by pressing F12, and then to actually type, you'll do so by hitting enter. Also, if you want to manage your friends or say invite them to a game, that's done by hitting F11. And since your mouse currently can't hover over there and mess around with stuff, you'll have to first press the right alt button and you'll see that'll bring up a little UI cursor and then just hit it again to remove it and the same goes for the chat with F12 and the contacts page with F11. Aside from being able to land on planets, one of the most notable additions to the game would have to be the new interaction system. And that's brought up by holding down F. And as you can see, it brings up this little cursor as well. And basically this system is used throughout every interaction in the game now, such as opening doors, getting into a ship, or as you'll see right here, accessing a terminal. And then to actually use any of these items, just go ahead and click the left mouse button. Moving on to some of the more combat focused mechanics, pressing 1 will bring out your sidearm, 2 
is your primary. And if you also have a second primary, you can bring that out by pressing 3. And then to holster any of those, press H. To aim down your sights, hold the right mouse button and then tap the left one to shoot. And if your weapon allows for it, you can also change the firing mode by pressing V. Or if you need to reload, you can do that by pressing R. One more trick that can be pretty helpful if you find yourself in a tight situation while in the prone position. You can actually roll around by pressing Q or E if you want to shoot behind you. And then say you're standing straight up with any of the weapons and you want to hold your breath, you'll do so by holding down shift. And that should allow you to fire a little more accurately. Gadget wise, you can heal by pressing X if you have a med pen. B restores your oxygen if you have an extra tank. Pressing G will throw any grenades you have. And then T is your flashlight. Just remember you won't be able to actually use any of your weapons until you've left an arm assist zone. Before we take off and move on to the flight mechanics, let's briefly touch on the EVA mode. So this is pretty much like walking around, but just remember Q and E now allow you to roll, W and S strafe forward and back, A and D are left and right, spacebar is up, Control is down, and if you want to change the camera angle, you can do so by pressing F4. And to wrap things up, holding down the left alt and backspace will allow you to commit suicide. With all of the on foot stuff out of the way, we can now move on to the flight mechanics. So to first enter your ship, hold down F until the highlighted area turns orange and then you use whatever means necessary whether it be a ladder or a ramp to get inside your ship. Now chances are your ship will start out with its power and engines off so to turn those on you can either use the interaction menu once again and click either of those or you can press 5 to turn the power on, then 4 for the engines, or to speed things up, you can press 8 to make your ship flight ready immediately. Just like so. From here, you'll want to take off, and that's done by holding down space to strafe up. And just like EVA mode, holding control, strafes down. And then to raise your landing gear, which allows you to also increase your speed, that's done by pressing N. From there things are fairly straightforward. Basically W and S act as a throttle, so holding down W will increase your speed and holding down S will decrease it. Now if you want to go up to its max or min instantly, that's done by pressing backspace. Next up, if you want to roll your ship left or right, that's done by pressing Q or E. And then if you want to strafe left or right, that can be done by pressing A or D. So if you set your throttle to 100%, you'll see your ship has a fairly decent speed as is. However, if you need to outrun someone or maybe just get around a planet faster, you can do so by activating your afterburner. And that's done by holding down shift. And once you release it, it'll actually stay at whatever speed you left it at. Just keep in mind if you move around too much, it will cause it to drop back down to the normal velocities. Should you find yourself in combat, the afterburner is not going to be the ideal way to make quick turns or evasive maneuvers. Instead, you'll want to use the boost function, and that's done by pressing X. So say you're at a speed and want to turn really quick, press X, and you should be able to do it quite a bit faster. 
And the same applies for if you're at a relatively slow speed and just want to speed up quicker. Pressing the X key will also allow you to do that as well. And then if you want to stop really fast, you can do that by pressing C, which will activate your space break. And just keep in mind, when you release it, your ship will be returned to whatever speed it was previously at. One more neat feature that tends to come in handy quite a bit when in combat is decoupled mode. So say you're just sitting there and want to spin around freely or maybe moving in a certain direction and then want to spin back and shoot at your target. You can enter decoupled mode by pressing V and as you can see I'm still moving in the same direction I was pointing earlier but I now have the option to spin around and shoot wherever I want. And then from here if you want to roll or strafe the controls are the exact same as they would be if you weren't in decoupled mode. And like usual, pressing V again will take you out of it. In terms of quantum traveling, that can also be done in a variety of different ways. So for instance, option one would be simply pressing the F1 key to bring up your Moby glass. And then from there, just head over to the star map like so. Option two is a bit simpler. All you do is press the F2 key and that'll take you straight to the star map. And last but not least, if your ship has a radar, you can also access the star map from there by holding down the F key. Though as of now, I would definitely not recommend it as it is a little bit clunky. But anyways, while in the star map, scrolling with the mouse wheel, will allow you to zoom in and out. Holding the right mouse button will allow you to drag and move yourself around. And then to pick an area to travel to, all you do is click it with the left mouse button and then head down to set as destination. Once selected, you'll wanna close down the star map and find its icon on screen. Aim yourself towards it and hold B to quantum travel. One other feature that I really enjoy using is the ability to look around the cockpit by holding down Z. You can also do so by holding the F key as well, but just keep in mind this is also bringing up the interaction menu. And then if you want to look behind your ship, you can do so by holding the left alt key and Z, which is very useful if you have an enemy on your tail. When it comes to landing your ship, first things first, go ahead and press N to deploy your landing gear. And from there, you'll need to calm in to whatever station you're trying to land at. And that can also be done in a couple of different ways. Option one is bringing up the Moby glass and then heading down to that calm function that we checked out earlier. So in this case, you would select the Port Alizar landing services icon and do it that way. Option two is holding down the F key to bring up the interaction menu. And if you don't have one already, go ahead and switch one of the MFDs to the communications function and do it that way. Please proceed to sign landing bay. Once that's done, fly over to the highlighted pad and either land the ship manually by holding control to strafe down. Or if you orient yourself so you're at the middle of the pad, you can also land the ship automatically by holding down N. Once landed, to exit the ship, hold left alt and F. Moving on to the ship combat mechanics. Pressing the left mouse button will fire weapon group 1. And pressing the right mouse button will fire group 2. Additionally, if you want to target someone that's in your reticle, you can do so by pressing R. Or pressing T will target the nearest hostile. 
And to cycle all hostiles, you can do so by pressing Y or H. And to cycle all friendlies, that's done by pressing U or J. And then I and K will circle everyone, whether they be friend or foe. Another fairly useful mechanic is the ability to pin selected targets. And to do so, you just press P. And then to cycle all pinned to targets, that's done by pressing O or L. Now to me, the main thing this would be useful for is creating an entirely separate group of just your friends so that it's easier to find them. You can also match a highlighted target's speed by pressing M. You'll see now it's automatically adjusting where my throttle is at. And then if you want to lock a missile, you just press down the middle mouse button and then hold it when you want to fire. Vice versa, if someone's doing the same exact thing to you, you can cycle your countermeasures by pressing a 1. And then when you want to launch them, just hold down a G. Flare. And if that's not enough to save you, you can also eject by holding a left alt and L, or by holding the F key and doing it manually. With that out of the way, I'll go ahead and list off a couple of the other advanced key bindings that you may find useful. So first things first, pressing 3 will turn your lights on or off. 4 is your engines. 5 is your power. 6 is your shields. And 7 is your weapons. Additionally, you can also fine tune your shields even further using the number pad. So for example, pressing 7 will increase your top shields and decrease all of the others. Pressing 9 will be your bottom shields. Pressing 8 will increase the front shields. 2 will be the back shields. 4 will be the left shields. And 6 will be your right shields. And finally, if you press 5, that'll reset all of them back to normal. And also, keep in mind, you can do a lot of these things via the MFDs just by holding down the F key. So for example, this one here would be your shields. And then say you want to increase your weapons power and decrease avionics and shields. You can do so simply by dragging this little guy up and to the left. And just like it was when you were on foot, pressing F4 will change your camera angle. But anyways guys, that should do it for today. I'll probably continue to do a bit more Star Citizen content throughout the following weeks, along with videos similar to this should we see any big updates in the future. So feel free to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.